everyone and welcome to Maple Leaf ESL. My name is Andrew and thank you for joining me here in the classroom today. For today's quick words lesson, I want to look at a really common idiom and that is to pay one's dues. Okay, this is an everyday common expression. I want to take a look at a couple of definitions and a few examples. Okay, so I wrote here for a definition to earn something such as respect, a position, or a right through hard work or experience, okay? I also put a second definition, which is a little bit different. I put here to fulfill one's responsibilities, right? So to meet the responsibilities that you have to do. Okay, let's look at some examples. The first one here, he may be a famous actor now, but he paid his dues with years of taking smaller parts in movies and TV shows. Okay, this is pretty common in something like the entertainment industry, right? For an actor or maybe for a singer or something like that, right? They don't just become famous suddenly. They have to do sort of years of hard work and experience, right? They have to take small parts in movies or they have to go in sort of maybe bad TV shows in order to gain some experience, okay? After they've gained that experience, right? After they've put in the hard work, then they can get bigger movie roles and maybe become famous, right? So all those small movies and bad TV shows, that is paying their dues, right? Okay, let's look at a second example. We all know he committed the crime, but let's be fair. He's paid his dues to society. Okay, this one has the meaning of our second definition, which is to fill one's responsibilities. Okay, if we look at that example, we all know he committed the crime. Okay, so this guy, he committed a crime, okay, and then he went to jail. Okay, maybe he went to jail for 10 years or 15 years or however long he went to jail. So because he went to jail for all that time, this was his responsibility and now he's out of jail so he has fulfilled that responsibility. So in this case we say that he's paid his dues to society, right? He did the punishment for committing the crime and now that punishment is over. So he has paid his dues. So that's a little bit different than our first example, right? Okay, and let's look at one more example at the bottom here. I don't think we should make Jim the manager yet. He hasn't quite paid his dues. Other people have more experience. Okay, so Jim, maybe Jim's only been in the company for a few years. So he doesn't have enough experience yet, right? He hasn't put in enough hard work. So he hasn't quite paid his dues yet. But other people, they do have a lot of experience and they have been putting in hard work in the company for many years. So those other people, they have paid their dues and one of those people should become the manager. Not Jim, because he doesn't have enough experience yet, right? He hasn't paid his dues. So in this case, he has not earned the position of manager or he has not earned enough respect to become the manager, right? Same thing as in our first example with the famous actor, right? He hasn't earned the position of sort of famous movie actor yet. He has to put in more work and after he puts in the work, that's when he became the famous actor, right? After all those small little TV roles. Okay, so that's how we use this expression. Okay, if you think you can make a sentence using this expression, why not put it in the comments section below? Thank you so much for joining me here at Maple Leaf ESL and I look forward to seeing you again next time.